I had a customer ask me about repairing the buttons on their Bose uh, Lifestyle. This is an old model. They made a few. This is model 5, but there's a few different models. They have the same panel. And I said the buttons weren't working. I took this apart to see what kind of buttons it was, and it wasn't the one, the same kind of buttons as the remote control that I sell a repair kit for. Uh, so um, this one's a, you know, really can't make a kit for it, but I'm going to show you how to fix these. I fixed tens of thousands of buttons like this, and uh, it's pretty easy. The only requirement, you need Deoxit D100L. It's the red stuff. And uh, don't bother with the other colors, gold or blue. Just get the red D100L, and you can get the smallest amount that you can find. Um, this bottle is around 20 bucks, 25 bucks, but it would fix a thousand of these. You just need a very tiny bit of this stuff. Um, so once you have the deoxit for the bows, you just take there's two screws here, which I've already removed, and then there are some plastic clips right there. This one's broken on mine, but so you just push down the clips while pulling back on the silver top a little bit. There we go. And then this comes right off and there's no wires or anything attached to it. Um, so you can set that aside. And I want to show you these switches. There's a, they come in different sizes. Uh, this is the small one and I've seen one that it's about almost not quite four times as large, but more than twice as large as this. The circle button is about the same size as the switch itself here. Um, I haven't seen those in very many things recently. Th these little ones are pretty common. There's metal snap domes in there. And when you push the button, you can kind of hear it go click, 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 click. They also make rubber ones, switches with rubber tops. And this, this technique I'm going to show you will not fix the rubber switches. The rubber ones are a whole different game, and you probably have to replace those if they're acting up. Um, but it's pretty simple. There's there's an easy way and a hard way to do it. The easy way requires an engraver. And the hard way would be just a metal tool. And what we're going to do is um, I've got an eyedropper. of the. It's almost gone, but I keep refilling this bottle. And I'm just going to drop a little bit on the side of the button. Well, on the top of it, but on the side of the button that presses the, the plastic top. And then... You can see it sort of sits there, but then when I push this, it disappears as it gets sucked into the button. I'm going to apply it a couple times. Make sure I get some in there. Now this stuff will stay. It doesn't evaporate quickly, so it'll stay in a switch for weeks or months. I'm not really even sure how long. Maybe a year. And every time you push that button, you're cleaning it now. So if you don't have the engraver tool, you can sit here and push the button... Uh, you want the power off before you do any of this. And you just keep pushing the button, pushing the button. Um, and hopefully that'll work for you. I had some switches. They make a ton of different designs of these. Of course, there's lots of different manufacturers of the same button. Some of them are more picky uh, than others. Um, some of them wouldn't really respond to this at all. And we'd have to go at it with the engraver, with the engraver um, to have any chance. But I, I believe this would probably work fine with a screwdriver but if you have this what I'm going to do is hit the button not just hold it on there but just keep kind of tapping the button pushing it while this is shaking it and that cleans it a lot faster and as I'm doing it I'm moving it around I'm not always hitting it in the same place so you get different angles And you could even hold it down for a little while if you want. Now, I haven't powered this up and tested it. In fact, this one didn't even have button problems. So I'm not really able to know how long this particular model is going to want to take. But um, that should fix any kind of button like this. And... Um, it should last for decades. I fixed a ton of these, or not this, but a ton of these buttons. And uh, some of them I got to see years, years later, and they still worked great. So that's it. Thanks.